Well, hi, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Uh, my name is Bridget Hildebrand, and I'm the Global Alliance Marketing Manager for Aspera. Uh, I also have with me over here Per Hansen, who's our senior uh, sales engineer here in the UK, and I brought him along to make sure the marketing people keep, keep honest. <laughs> um, well, I'm starting off here a, a little out of order. I'm sorry, getting my, my spot here. Um, with a, a picture of a workflow where Aspera fits into the, the picture with Intera and Content Agent. Um, Essentially, uh, Aspera is uh, WAN optimization for big data. Um, we've taken the, uh, the need for moving big data files um, and helping all the different um, uh, products uh, get your, your data out to um, all the different global uh, places that you need to, need to send things. So let's take a jump back uh, and talk about the big data trends. Um, Huge data explosion, obviously, um, larger and larger file-based um, unstructured data, and all kinds of different file sizes, big, small, complex, simple. Um, and now we're dealing with uh, more diverse IP networks, uh, media, bandwidth rates are changing. Uh, it's hard to keep conditions uh, in your network consistent. Uh, and then we talk about data freighting challenges, and it kind of lends that, that feeling like we're talking big big data and needing to move it. Um, and as the conditions of the network uh, protocols, um, it becomes very difficult to manage that big data. It just wasn't developed for this type of, of uh, file transfer. So just a quick technical uh, overview. Uh, the, the big bar there in the, in the middle is uh, TCP uh, in your LAN or your intranet. Uh, you can see that you, you get uh, most of the of your bandwidth there, but the way that TCP is designed, um, you have packet loss and delay the further out you go. So once you leave your LAN and you're you're sending data files over the WAN over the internet, the the farther you get away, the bigger the file, the harder it is to keep it whole and send it fast. Um, so here's just a list of all the different. Um, Issues with TCP uh, again. It's it's designed for low bandwidth and not not fast and uh, and for big data. And you you know you end up with all these workarounds and you buy more bandwidth when the the problem still exists. And this is where Aspera comes in. So uh, Aspera's product is called Fast, and it's essentially a patented protocol that lets you move those big datas over your your uh, wide area network. Um, and you get the most of your bandwidth because um, it makes up for where TCP fails. Um, so obviously you can see from the, from the graph here that with Aspera, you get your full bandwidth usage uh, from, from the, uh, starting with the LAN all the way out through this last bar, which is satellite. There's really low overhead to it, and it makes up for um, all the congestion problems that are inherent in the technology. So your transfer, transfers are so much faster, infinitely faster, than if you're using FTP. You also get very predictable time rates, which helps your productivity, uh, and you get, to, you know, you get that, that control over your network. Just real quickly, here's some, you know, look at the, the speed that you can get uh, comparative to, to FTP. You know, going across the, you know, the country, across the world, and you have, if you're shipping this type of data, it's really impractical to use it. It would just take too long. You'd be better off sending it via post. And even that's, you know, kind of this, the struggle of the time. Um, with fast, you're, you're talking about, you know, it's really game changing in the times that you can get your data through your network. So here's kind of a benefits slide. Again, you're getting your maximum transfer speed. You get great bandwidth control. It's scalable, it's software only, it works on any platform, comprehensive web browser support. Um, our mobile product works on iPhone and soon Android as well. It's really very, very plug and play. Very secure as well, I know that's a big issue too. Aspera's technology is really uh, integral for uh, B2B communications and uh, global collaboration and sharing. I'm sure a lot of you work with companies around the world that have different piece parts to the project. Um, we're perfect for that. Uh, ingest 
and distribution, high performance computing, and cloud services. That's a big thing for us today. Um, we are part of Amazon Web Services and handle all the, the ingest. Uh, we're also working with IBM, Microsoft, and all of these other cloud services. Um, so something that you want to take advantage of as far as fully integrated there. Synchronization and data archive disaster recovery. We're all part of this. So here's just kind of a, a, a map <laughs> of how we fit in. This is actually put together um, in relation to um, the movie Avatar. Uh, James Cameron's studio used us to uh, help transfer the files between uh, the digital productions in, in, uh, in New Zealand back and forth to, to Hollywood, then out in the post-production world throughout the, throughout the world. I, I just find this, this very in, impactful uh, in the way that we can help make the world so much more uh, collaborative. So b back to this slide, um, this is a workflow example from our product orchestrator. So you can see where we, you know, your data comes in from the WAN. We move the files through your firewall and then to Intera. That's Veton pro product for QC. Further on through to content agent, transcoding. And then and through the end, you can bring it back to, you know, storage opportunity either in the cloud or on your, on your own storage platforms. Uh, a full API, or we, any, if you have an API, we can plug in to Orchestrator. And I know this is quite an eye chart, but we are really, like, like Beton, we are with um, lots of the you know, major studios, major post-production facilities, um, cloud computing facilities, use Aspera to move their very large files. So uh, I leave you with, um, you know, it's very predictable. It's very fast and um, very secure. <laughs> so if you have any questions about um, Aspera's transport technology, please feel free to talk to me or Pear. And um, we'll wrap it up there. Mm -hmm. Cool, thank you. Um... Uh, th there's a whole business element to this as well. We're obviously talking about moving files, um, you know, managing metadata, these, these elements. Our experience of these installations um, also come very much to a business level. So there's always a lot more detail to research with these products. Um, clearly, uh, QC and not having your broadcast file rejected by the broadcaster is quite fundamental. The labor time lost um, by not QC in your files is, is very fundamental. Um, and you know, we, we, a big project we're doing in the states at the moment with DG, um, where we're delivering uh, broadcast files. Um, they actually use Baton as um, their QC test for all the files coming in. And the beauty is we're able to take that template template from their Baton and bring it out to the production companies or the post houses, so we know that we're doing a full. Uh, QC pathway exactly as it's going on there. So that's a fantastic time saver. And the beauty is it's automated. You know, we only have to pick up that file when there's an error. Um, certainly uh, with Aspira, um, th the key here is um, we, we, we very easily justify investment in Aspira purely on courier cost. Um, you'll be surprised how quickly your return comes back on those things. So the idea is, oh, we invest in this technology, it's complicated. But I mean, I think the idea of copying your media on shoot to a firewire drive giving it to a runner because you don't trust a courier to sit on an airplane to bring it over and then copying it back in. Anyone done a USB 2 copy or a Firewire 400 copy into your SAN of your three terabytes of information on your drive only to find the drive failed somewhere? Well, it very quickly becomes having a predictable um, transport to actually deliver this um, remotely and reliably is a big cost saving very quickly. Cool, so this is, we're coming to the end um, of things. We've got the opportunity for questions. Um, the idea is we obviously have an exhibit downstairs where obviously Aspira and Intera have a stand. They obviously have their product management team as well to answer any questions down there. Are there any questions people would like to raise at this moment in time? <laughs>